So I dropped off baskets for the day. And I picked me up with a ba bucket full of popcorn from Cub Scouts. Because he's in that and he sold popcorn to his old kindergarten teacher. So I'm gonna get that delivered to him and then take it back home and my mom's doing all the other ones for them later this afternoon. Because I have to write a paper and not make deliveries for a six-year-old. Film now. Zachary. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm just gonna focus on me then. Are you okay with your backpack? Yeah. Oh, okay. Seems like there should be an easier way to do that, but all, all right. right. Okay, um, so Zachary's teacher told me that he has been especially good for the past two weeks. That he has been a very good boy and he's been a very good in school for two whole weeks. That's amazing. So are you gonna keep being good? Yeah. Awesome. So till about like 19 weeks. Till 19 weeks? You think 19 weeks is too long? Then you gotta be bad? Well, maybe 25. Mm, maybe. No, how about the whole school year? The whole school year? You're gonna be good for the whole school year. I'll try. You'll try? Well, that's awesome. I'm so glad that you're gonna try to be good for the whole school year. I try to be good for the whole school year, but sometimes I mess up. But how? that's okay. How, how do I mess up? Yeah. Um, like I don't do my homework on time, and sometimes I'm late to school, Thank and you. sometimes I don't listen to other students as well as I should, and to the questions they're asking. Even though their questions are just as important as my answers. But the important thing is, even when you're bad, is that you try to be good next time. Yeah, but I be bad. I sometimes I don't listen to the people. Well, I'm just impatient. Yeah, it's hard to be patient. Guess who got death threats on Twitter this afternoon? Yay! I mean, I guess it still might be afternoon. Nah, nah, it's dark enough. It just gets dark so early, it's hard to tell. But, no, I got death threats on Twitter. Um, because I believe that we should be helping Syrian refugees who are running from ISIS because ISIS is bad and everyone agrees on that. It's just that people don't believe we should be helping Syrian refugees because they think they're a part of ISIS. Pure craziness, honestly, in my opinion. But that's my opinion. It's fine to have a different opinion. But yeah, no. Syrian refugees are a uh, part of ISIS. They are running from them. And the fact that hate crimes go up against Muslim people is an atrocity. They're an atrocity because people are being targeted out for things that they didn't do. And that's not okay. But it's kind of gotten to the point in my internet career and just of being a person that threats don't intimidate me anymore. Well, they do intimidate me. I'm kind of scared. But the thing is, I'm getting a death threat because people want me to shut up. That's the, that's the part of it. People want me to stop talking and they want to silence me because I believe in something different than them. And I'm going to, I'm willing to admit, I'm motivated by my faith as a Christian that we should be helping these people. But not everyone sees it that way. There's racism and xenophobia and a little bit of classism involved in all of these, all a bunch of little million details, but I think we should be helping them. I think we should be helping people because most of them are good people and they just want a safe place. And their safety and their lives are just as important as my safety and my life. And I am not going to let my empathy be, well, I'm not going to choose who I'm empathetic with. That kind of takes the humanity out of it. You can choose to be empathetic with everyone. I understand that they are scared and they are running and they deserve help. And I want to help them. I am unapologetically empathetic to these people and I will do whatever I can to help them because that, I believe that's the right thing to do. But I'm not going to be silenced by people who disagree with me 
and the people with who would threaten my life because they are so afraid of helping people on the off chance that that person could be terrible just could be a and that's I don't think there are that many horrible people in the world so statistically helping a lot of people is usually just helping a lot of good people